Hi folks, this time we're going to do the Tarzan problem. Uh, for those of you who will be eventually doing a ballistics, ballistic pendulum lab, uh, this problem is similar to part of that lab. So here goes. Tarzan is standing on a tree branch and holding onto a long vine that is inclined 37 degrees from the vertical. He swings out over a tropical pool of water to impress Jane. What is his velocity at the bottom of the swing if he starts from rest, the vine remains taut, and the vine is 30 meters long? So what's going to happen here is Tarzan is going to swing like this down. Now this is not a straight line. This does not make a right triangle. He actually swings in a big arc. And I want to know what is his velocity when he gets to the bottom of the arc. When the path of travel gets complicated, that's a good time to use energy. So I am going to say the potential energy that Tarzan had at the top is going to be equal to the kinetic energy that he has at the bottom. So let's start to set that up. Panet potential energy at the top is going to be equivalent to kinetic energy at the bottom. Now potential energy will be mass, height, acceleration of gravity. Kinetic energy be, will be one-half mass velocity squared. In this situation, what's going to happen to mass? Yep, mass is on both sides. It's in all the terms, so it can cancel. What that means is doesn't matter if I've got a big buff Tarzan or if I've got a poor little malnourished Tarzan from living in the jungle for his whole life. Now, we are going to solve for V. I know acceleration of gravity. What I have to figure out is height. And I need to know the change in height. The height when he had a potential energy and the height of kinetic energy. So what I need is this height right here. Now here is the tricky part of this whole problem. And this picture is the key. If I want height, I have to find more information about distance. So let's take a look at what we've got. The length of the vine is 30 meters. So this vine is 30 meters long. And we're told in the problem, it when he swings out, the vine remains taut. So if that's 30 meters, from here to here is also 30 meters. We're making the assumption the vine's not going to stretch or anything from the weight of Tarzan. So those are the same two lengths. If I can find side x, all right, do you see this triangle? I'm going to outline it in green. If you see this triangle, if I know the hypotenuse is 30, I know this angle is 37, I can solve for x. And once I have x, I'm going to be able to, to say 30 meters minus x will be the change in height h that I need. So how am I going to go about finding x? Well, little trigonometry. This is my adjacent side. This is my hypotenuse. So x itself is going to be equal to the hypotenuse times the cosine of 37 because I'm dealing with the adjacent. So when I do the math, x ends up being just about 24 meters. So what's h going to be? Well, h is actually going to be 30 meters minus my x, 24 meters. So change in height for Tarzan is about 6 meters. That I am going to then plug into here. And I'm solving for velocity. So velocity will be equal to 2 times height times acceleration of gravity, square root, 2 times my change in height, 6 meters, 9.8 meters per second squared. And when I do the math, the velocity at the bottom of that arc, I get 10.8 meters per second. All right, this is a good classic physics problem.